Okay, so I've got one that's going to die into the abyss. Because even at the point where I've had this realization, I'm still going to fall back into it. Let's be honest here. I looked into the abyss. It blinked. And at the end of which, the blink was nothing more than something to keep you down. Nothing more than anything to make you keep running along the trail. I've seen a millionaire just today. I saw a multi-millionaire who owned a huge multi-million dollar building. Look at his friend and understand why and what he should do. Where he does nothing more than to just keep up the status quo. Not even the status quo. But after he's being the just run like product placement. But just run through the house by his by a person that he thought could stand up and enjoy life. We're talking, you know, unless you catch AIDS, herpes, or <laughs> syphilis, everything will be paid for you for the rest of your life. That person, that, that person decided to running through the meat grinder of the divorce courts and just, you know, do whatever they could. He's now out. As far as I know, I mean, this might be different for, but otherwise, $3,700 a month for someone who inputted nothing to his entire setup. Well, we're talking like, you know, he's $3,700 a month into somebody who did nothing other than, you know, sleep with him twice and foster a kid that may be his. I mean, for everything I've heard, there's been no... You know, it it is his kid, anything like that. I mean, it, it, I mean, given the uh, oh, sorry. Okay, so given the correct answer of, you know, after two years, it doesn't matter if your kids or not, as long as you sign the paperwork for marriage. The fact there is a, a paperwork for marriage that is decidedly you are agreeing to have children. It doesn't matter if they're yours or not. This should really be something for it. You know what? I can't be raped. Even if I'm in prison, I'm just a demographic. I'm not a victim. We really need to think through life.